welcome to the Unleashed Greatness Podcast with your host, Jonathan Mitchell. The best in personal, emotional, spiritual, and business development. Friday morning, you people out there, you amazing, wonderful, beautiful people. It is Friday. Um, I just want to say again, as always, thank you for listening in. Today is Spiel Day, where I get to just pick a topic and talk about whatever I feel inspired for the week and just give myself permission to just talk about whatever. So if you want to hear more from myself, the podcast, the guests, or whatever, there are a lot of items there at UnleashedG.com. There's some free gifts for you. There's coaching. There's uh, hopefully some cool articles or blogs. Check it out. And uh, this episode is sponsored by NaturalMedicineMamas.com for everything you need with natural or alternative medicine products and advice. They have some amazing products for men, women, and children. I use several of them for uh, whether it's uh, they have products for anxiety or for like colds or for that kind of thing. They have teas and tinctures and all the stuff you can use. Easy, fast to use, amazing stuff. Here we go, guys. Unleash Greatness, Spiel Day. Thank you so much. Well, you guys, I hope you've had a wonderful week. We've had some really cool stuff this week. Uh, Dolores on Monday, our guest, was awesome. She mentioned a book I did a book review on on Wednesday, The Artist's Way About Tapping Into Creativity and How to Get More Inspiration in Your Life. Yesterday, I was able to read an article from Inc.com about eight things you should do before 8 a.m. If you ever listen to the interviews, I always ask people what they do in the mornings to get themselves primed up. So really cool insights on what you can apply into your own life. And today is Spiel Day. Uh, One of these days where I don't really have a script, I usually kind of just wing it. Um, I try to be thinking about through the week what I want to talk about today as things happen in real time, and hopefully it's beneficial to you. So last week I talked about abundance and excess and the difference between those and how to have more abundance in your life and how to create more space in your life. Today, I don't know if I have a word or a sentence to use to really describe how I'm feeling, but more of just a reflection on life in general. Before I go into the topic for today, so I was, um, I try to talk to my parents often because I love my family. I'm in touch with them, uh, you know, weekly, if not, you know, twice, two, three times a week, I'm calling to my sisters or my parents, just seeing how they're doing. Cause I love my family. I love being connected with them. And, uh, tonight I was just talking about some experiences this last week with my mom. I was just telling about what was going on. She, she lives several hours away from me, so I don't get to see her all the time, but I try to call her and keep in touch as she's you know, as we're getting older, I want to make sure we can keep in touch and not lose sight of each other and what's important. This last week, I had a really good friend of mine, so a, a drummer in my band for years in, in my band called The Crew, his name's Jeff, passed away suddenly this last week. Like, crazy, because I just talked to him like a week and a half ago, and he passed away about a week ago. And he was a really good friend of mine. He was one of the few people I, I can ever call an older brother. I, I didn't grow up with brothers. I had four sisters. I had no brothers. But there's certain men in my life who I call more brothers than friends, and he was one of them. And I just am thinking about, I'm still kind of experiencing the shock of it all, of not expecting it. He wasn't in bad health. Nothing traumatic happened. He was playing basketball and uh, said he felt like he had some heartburn and went outside to get a drink and collapsed, and then he was gone. The ambulance tried to come and get him, and, I mean, he nothing traumatic happened. He just kind of dropped over and was done. And I was just thinking about his life, his influence, and what he's done and, and telling my mom about that. And she was just telling me how my whole life, she's like, I don't know of many people who've had as many friends pass away from random different things than you have. And I was like, well, it's very interesting. And I just started thinking about that. And ever since I was middle school, I've had friends, I, I, I've had family members ever since I was about 10 or 11 years old. My dad's uncle killed himself when I was 10, 11 years old. I, was, uh, I hung out with his son all the time. I was at his house all the time. I knew my uncle really well, and all of a sudden he was gone. I remember how just weird that was as an 11-year-old to try and wrap my mind around him not only being gone but killing himself. And then about a year after that, both of my mom's grandparents, who I, again, was very close to, I spent a lot of time with, uh, my my grandma passed away from ovarian cancer, and about a week later, my grandpa died from a heart attack. So it was just death after death after death. And as a kid, I remember losing a bunch of family members, great aunts, aunts, grandparents, uncles, just tons of people. I remember almost going to a funeral 
at least once or not, if not twice every month for at least a couple of years. And just getting this sense of death and the finality of life and how short it is. And I was going through middle school. I got a little bit older going through middle school and high school. And I lost some more friends from drug overdoses and from suicide and from weird freak car accidents, just random things. And my senior year, a good friend of mine that I grew up with, um, he also killed himself. I had a friend of mine who I knew since I was a kid, since elementary school. She was a girl, went boating, and she actually uh, died in a boating accident. I've had um, at people when I went on to my Christian mission for a couple of years. I had one of my guys there who, who died on the mission uh, from some weird medical thing. People in college, I've had people pass away since I've known them in college. There's a good friend of mine who um, I lived with for two years, and after I moved out about six months later, he um, went into this alcohol drinking bed, just kind of went crazy and uh, shot his girlfriend and then shot himself. I mean, we're just talking some tragic very, very sad circumstances. And some of them were just older and there's just time for them to go. A year ago, I lost my, my dad's dad, my grandpa, who I've known for years, obviously, and taught me a lot about business and life and, and had some other people pass away this last year. And some of them were kind of more, they're a little bit more distant from me. So I didn't feel the effects as much, but today, this last couple of weeks, just thinking about Jeff, my drummer. So I, I used to live with him for a couple of years and um, I mean, we, we haven't lived with each other since, you know, for five, six years, but we've stayed close. He's been in my band. He got married three months ago and to his sweetheart, they were dating for six years and they finally decided to go in. If you knew Jeff, you knew that he was super hesitant and a little bit scared about getting married again because his first one was pretty bad, but he finally took the plunge and they have been so happy living in Florida. He used to live here in Utah and then he moved to Florida and, and then he just passed away. And I just, my heart goes out to his dear, sweet wife and having to come back to Utah alone and not being with him. And so I, I know this sounds like kind of like a downer episode, but I just wanted to hopefully convey my thoughts to you of just be willing to tell people how you feel in a positive way. Be willing to reach out to those that are important to you. Make sure that the last thing that you say to them is a good thing to leave things on a positive note. Any processing that you need to do with someone, if you have an issue with forgiving someone, if you have a problem with them, if you have all these hard feelings or whatever, get that crap out with a counselor, write it down on a letter, then burn that thing because it, it doesn't belong in a relationship where you care about somebody. I would also argue it doesn't really belong in any relationship because any bad energy of any kind is not good for you, just FYI. But especially those with which we care about, friends, family, that kind of thing, be willing to to reach out to those that are important to you, to spend time with them, to send them a letter, to call them on their birthdays, whatever you got to do, make the time for it because you never know when someone just passes out after playing basketball and you'll never be able to tell them again about how grateful you are for everything they did for you and for the influence they had in your, in your life. Another thing I would say is just thinking about Jeff's legacy. So it's going to be, it's always hard to describe to someone else who never knew someone so impactful in your life of what they've done for you. Jeff to me was someone, when I think about him, I think about how kind he was to everyone, how much of an effort he made to stay in touch with me and other people. Like he and I would call each other back and forth almost every other week sometimes. And he's one of the first people I call when anything cool happens. I, I, he's someone I'm excited to tell. And he tells me about exciting things, even though he's thir you know 25 years my elder, we're best buds and uh, almost like brothers, you know. And I just think about the influence he had in other people's lives as I've seen people respond and post about him and say about not only how he affected them musically, but just as a person, how much he gave to people and how aware he was of other people. It really makes me think a lot about my influence, my, um, I don't want to say reputation, but just the impact that I make or maybe the impact I don't make. Am I making it enough? Am I doing things that would make people glad to know me? And I think everyone has this thought. And, you know, I, I'm one of those people where people would think, well, of course, people are going to be glad to know you. But I know I know personally people who are not glad to know me and because of mistakes I've made. And there's there's people out there that I've known that I you know, necessarily have those same feelings towards and, and sometimes we as humans make mistakes. I make so many mistakes, it's not even funny. So I guess my appeal to you is just, number one, 
being willing to share with people that you care about how much you care for them, how much they do for you, how much you appreciate them. Because again, you don't know when they're going to be gone. And then number two, think about your legacy. So no matter when you pass away, whether it's tomorrow, in a year, five years, 20 years, 40 years, 50 years, 100 years, like maybe some sort of technology comes and we live all for 125 years or something. But whatever the case might be, make sure you pay attention to how you make other people feel, your influence. And I, maybe I shouldn't say how you make other people feel because you can't really make anyone feel anything. Let me rephrase that. How you treat other people, because that is something you have total control of, and that is your choice. How do you treat them? Whether you know them or not, whether it's a person at the gas station or someone at the grocery line, a waiter that's giving you food, or your best friend, your family, how do you treat people? Are you good to them? Are you nice to them? Are you patient with them? Are you forgiving of them? Are you giving to them? Is it the type of thing where when you pass on, people can look back to you and say, that person had a positive and powerful influence on my life. It's times like this where I try to be that person, where I make a lot of mistakes, but I, I take the example from my older brother Jeff here and just say thank you for his example. Give him homage and give him, um, you know, the 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 power that he had in my own life. I just want to say thank you and be willing to tell the other people. You never know how how short life is until it's gone. And I just would adhere to you and exhort you and plead with you. Make sure you tell the people that same thing too. Thank you guys so much. If I haven't told you already, sincerely, thank you for listening. This is Unleashed Greatness. Come back next week. Thank you so much. 